What's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel where we're going to be doing some dumpster diving. Ugh. Unfortunately, that looks like a lot of illegal dumpy. What'd you say? Yeah, I do. Okay. But it smells gross. Victoria's Secret bra. Victoria's Secret? Yeah. There's some more bras over there. Is that another one right there, the strapped one? I'm just looking around to see if I see anything, but I don't know. Just digging. Well, I mean, you got a couple. Is that black one Victoria's Secret too? Yeah, it is actually. Two Victoria's Not Secrets. Too bad. I don't know what size this one is. I'll have to dig around. I don't know. Look like room. they're in good shape though. Yeah, they do. Actually. Unicorn and two sets of boobies. Not bad. <laughs> right. All right. Nothing in there. It is hot today, guys. All right. Gosh. Yes. That's a whole full set. A whole what? Full set. There's a box shot over there too. You got tools, I got a dumpster to get you feeling. Let's see. Let's play the what did they destroy game. <laughs> Holy crap. That's for sure been gone through. Oh my God, what? Yeah. Nope. Mm -mm, not today. What? 
Did you already open it? Oh, nice. Yeah. Big old socket set. Yeah, cool. These are, these are not cheap. That's awesome. Okay. Probably go right through those if you sit in them. Okay. Nothing. Wow. Nice. Mm -mm, not looking good today. No thanks. Somebody illegally dumped big. Washing machine though. No, Dryer actually. You think it works? I don't know. No plug. I don't know. It could work. Or it could not work. Yeah. It's pretty bad, huh? Yep. Ridiculous. Alright, let's roll. Hey, what's this? We have another washing machine at the house from our storage unit, so if that one works, we can put the two together and... Okay, Joey's on the phone now. Okay. <laughs> All right, here. Hello? Doop, doop, doop. Okay. I'll take a peek in this one. It's uh, full of boxes. Lots of boxes. Hey! You want to get Aaron some more boxes for his challenge? You should we? Yeah. How are we going to fit them? I don't know. Maybe we can stick them in here somewhere. <laughs> I mean, there's stuff we can put them underneath. Actually, you know what? If we wipe them up between the tailgate and the dryer, <laughs> it'll just make the dryer more solid. Yeah. We're gonna have to get him some uh, duct tape though. We are, okay. Yeah. We'll get him a roll of duct tape. <laughs> okay. They've been wanting to do their little box for so long. Oh yeah. And I looked in here and they're all dry. Really? Okay. And besides, he's gonna keep them in his room. Aaron and Kane want to do a 24 hour box challenge, but I don't think they're gonna make it 24 hours in sleeping in a box in their room the entire time eating and and drinking and all that stuff i don't see him making it do you no not at all, <laughs> not at all. so we'll dig them out some more boxes for their 24 hour box challenge it's gonna be pretty funny aaron's even trying to record a little video on it too that looks like a big one here You think that's enough or? We can keep going. <laughs> yeah, we'll make them some room, huh? Yeah. Let's 
see. That's not a good one. So boxes and duct tape. It's gonna be the story of Aaron and Kane's life here in a few hours. Oh well, they're gonna love it. There's some more. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. <laughs> And there'll be some happy little boys. I think that's probably good right here, huh? They're gonna have a freaking cardboard home built. <laughs> huh? Yeah, there's some here that are pretty big too. So okay. they got big ones, small ones, some as big as their head. They're gonna be so excited. I know. <laughs> okay, cool. Gonna be some happy boys. Dang, you got that in there really good. Cool. Your mom looks a lot more out of than you. <laughs> Now watch, I'll sit on them and break them. Eeeh. Nothing in there anyway. Not seeing anything, just some boxes and we got plenty of those. All right. Wait, what's that? Nothing. Look, a bucket. I don't really need any buckets. There's some boxes. Let's open up this top lid so y'all can see a little better. Yeah. Hand goods. Old thermostat. Bunch of broken glass. The French fry cutter thing, that looks like it's in good shape. like a big inflatable thing I don't know what that is huh interesting I think that might be like a hammock tree or, or uh, something you sit in hang from a tree and sit in Huh. I don't guess we'll mess with that jumbled mess. Just asking for glue the other day. Let's see. Dead gummit. That's kind of cool. Some old 
picture frames. of paper nice hammer Staple gun. Let's see what's over here. Never seen that. That's in there. Go learn some Tabo. Cool. Actually, let's do this. Take that out. Some little jewelry things I'll put those in the pocket get those stuffed animals I like a drone huh a little cheap one but still an old looking book right there grab some of those books just because Definitely some good resale items right there. You know, not bad. People. Oh dear. Empty. So when we're actually at the storage unit as of now. Have I showed you guys this? I think I have. Okay, let's take a quick walk around and just show you some of the stuff that uh, <clears throat> that we've got from our storage auctions and uh, some other stuff around the house. But uh, check this mirror out. This mirror is kind of interesting. Some of you guys might enjoy that. It's kind of cool. Somebody took the time to put those old. Uh, doorknobs and even the locking plates on there which is pretty cool <coughs> it's pretty nice check this out this is an older little mirror that i guess uh attaches to a dresser or something stay i guess that's about it really other than uh you know some yard sales slash flea market stuff 
microwave fish tank with a bunch, a bunch of stuff in it pretty nice bar stool unfortunately there's only one in there we got a hood light for an aquarium that's like a four footer that's pretty nice a bunch of signs that was one of my favorite things about that last unit that we got is there were so many little signs in there really cool and again none of these are very old at all but they are pretty cool i mean they're made to look old kind of neat got this big old table it looks pretty good but someone has painted the top of it green and i don't know maybe ruined it really it's pretty nice though um we'll start the wrap up on the on our our dumpster dive and this is a this is the box that we got out of there pretty nice hammer pretty nice little hammer we'll put that with our tool stuff this came out of our most recent storage locker some crafty stuff that needs to come home we'll see if stacy wants the potato oh, i guess it's just a dicer slicer so something you can cut whatever you want to with it but it makes some good french fries for sure that's pretty cool live life there is no take two that is an awesome little thing i'm going to put that back here with the other signs that one's really neat i like that i feel like those signs are something too that would sell really good at like a flea market there's some other odds and ends stuff in here a little cheapy drone but uh, most likely broken, but Aaron likes tinkering with that kind of stuff. Little sewing kit, pocket sewing machine thing. That's kind of cool. So, this is all kitchen stuff mainly, minus the stuff that's piled on top. But there's some crock pots and stuff like that in there. I haven't even gone through that, but I know that stuff will do pretty good at a flea market. All right. Okay, so. We didn't really do very good tonight on the whole dive. I mean, well, I can't say that we didn't do good. We did really good, but it wasn't like, you know, a bunch of stuff out of every dumpster. But we did do good in a couple of them, which is kind of cool. Pop that open, show you guys this. This is my favorite find of the night. This big giant socket set. And I think these actually sell for... Uh, I think it was like 60 bucks or something like that. Plus like 20 shipping if you bought it online. So not bad. Not bad at all. And definitely, definitely sell that. And I say sell that because we already have one of these. My dad does anyway. So we got that. This I'm definitely going to keep for my little workbench. Because you guys know I don't see real well. It's a magnifying lamp. That's really cool. I'm hoping that works. We got another wood clamp here. That's kind of nice. This is really nice. It's a hand riveter. That is a handy dandy tool. And I already have one of those, so I guess we'll put that in the resale stuff as well. Mine's not that nice, but I don't need a nice one. Um, staple gun. Tacking gun, sorry. Pretty nice. Still in the package. Brand new. We've got a DeWalt one in there too that was uh, from the old storage unit too. And then we got, <clears throat> I have no idea what this is. Like not even, an, not even an inkling of an idea. I don't know what that is. Clamping dial indicator. I really don't know. Doesn't, I, I don't know. Maybe if somebody out there knows they can tell me. I, I can't figure it out. I have no idea. We got the water hose. Oh, we got these too. These are some ratcheting pruners. Those are really nice. Definitely a good score. We got the water hose. Water hoses are usually all good. We found these pet taxis off camera. Probably should have recorded, but I did not. Anyway, they're a matching set and they're practically brand new. Pretty much brand new. We got this one, like a medium size. And then a small one over there. The train's going to take off, so it's going to get a little noisy. Then we got the dryer. I'm going to have to rig this up and uh, test it on the generator. It's not the best looking dryer, but if it works, we can definitely sell it. And if not, 
it's always recyclable. So I guess that's going to do it for this one, guys. Sorry there wasn't more to show you, but uh, sometimes that's the way it goes. Like I said, we did pretty good, but it wasn't like a wide variety. So appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so very much for sticking to the end. If you did, we love you. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll be back with another video as soon as we can. Thank you.